I come from Australia, but I came here to New York because it's the only place left on Earth that I've searched. Really? A missing case of monkeys. I can't wait for the Oxygen True Crime documentary on this case. The case of the missing monk cave. No. Multiple comedians are experiencing mysterious illnesses and even canceling tours after getting fully booted and tooted. Is Taylor Swift about to drop a full-blown album from the vault? And the Freak of the Week is probably gonna make you gag. I'm Alex Clark and this is Poplitics. Last Saturday, I went to see comedian Heather McDonald at Tempe Improv in Arizona. I have listened to her podcast, Juicy Scoop, for years. I love her. So I'm there in the audience, totally ready, excited, and she comes out on stage for not even five minutes. And I'm sure you've seen it by now, but she makes a joke about being fully juiced and then bam, falls over. I want you to know, double vaxxed, booster, flu shot, and I'm gonna be honest, I have the shingle shot too. And I still get my period. What? Yes. <laughs> Traveled, went to Mexico twice, did shows, meet and greets, never got COVID. Clearly, Jesus loves me the most. Seriously. <laughs> so nice. So nice. Boom. It was honestly terrifying to be in that crowd. I mean, we were all super scared for her. We're yelling like, we love you, Heather. Like, and everyone's saying, call 911 and stuff. It was just really freaky. And you can actually see the back of my head in the clip that's gone viral. This is me right here. So this happens to Heather. And then Chelsea Handler cancels her tour that she's currently on, which is literally called the Vaccinated and Horny Tour due to unspecified health reasons. And she has publicly said that she's tested negative for the woo-woo. Then we find out that comedian Bob Saget's cause of death was because he fell down and hit his head and then went to sleep later because he didn't know he had a brain bleed. So he never woke up. My question and a lot of other people's questions is what caused Bob to fall over and hit his head? I want it. Answers. Heather McDonald said she had never fainted in her life before that night on stage. Could there be a correlation between people getting fully juiced and falling over and hitting their head or having mysterious illnesses and health issues causing them to cancel tours? What else are they hiding from you? Swifties believe that Taylor Swift will be releasing a lost album that she was probably working on before she released Reputation in 2017. Big reputation. Because of the Kimye drama and Taylor's decision to hide from the public eye during the exact time fans were expecting a new album in 2016, Swifties are pretty sure that she was planning on releasing a different album entirely before deciding to put it on hold and make a totally different album, Reputation. Due to hints in music videos like this scene in The Man where the wall features names of all her albums, fans are pretty sure this album will be called Karma. What do you think? Is this another bogus fan theory or do you think Swifties might have nailed this one? After all, all Taylor thinks about is karma, karma. Five, six, seven, eight. Don't hurt yourself. If you're a celebrity wanting to attend the Oscars March 27th, good news, you don't gotta be fully juiced to attend, even though it's an indoor event in LA. Everything they do is so dramatic and flamboyant. It just makes me wanna set myself on fire. All celebrities have to do is show proof of a negative test. That's it. However, employees of the Academy are required to show proof of juice. Don't you just love that? You know, they really care about people. This is absolutely not a double standard. This is totally not classism. Let's let's go glass house. Glass, I'm me glass house, you glass house. You're the glass house. Warm up those pipes, Benjamina. We've got a freak of the week to expose. I said certified freak. Seven days Patrick Wilson from The Watchmen says he has eaten dog poop. Is that paleo? <laughs> <laughs> the actor who owns three dogs was asked by Empire Magazine, what's the worst thing you've put in your mouth? Patrick responded, it's probably dog poop. I'm sure in my quest to pick up dog crap, I've licked the bag to open the bag and then it's on my hand and I have dog poop on there too. 
All right, that's enough for today. I can't with dog people. I'm a hot dog person. One of the spiciest episodes of The Spillover ever is out now in honor of Valentine's Day. I'm talking sex, love, and marriage with pastor and author of Outdated, Jonathan Pakluda. This is an adult content warning episode because I ask Pastor JP all the questions that you would want to ask your pastor about sex and dating and marriage and divorce that you'd really be too embarrassed to do. Leave a five-star review, please, to support The Spillover and listen on Apple Podcasts and Spotify today. Heart this episode of Politics. are you accidentally eating dog poop when cleaning up after your dog, or is Patrick Wilson crazy? And do you think the juice is to blame for all three of these comedians' recent health issues? DM this episode to a medical professional in your life, see what they think, and please hit the save button. We're back Monday for Valentine's Day at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. It's pop culture without the propaganda every single day. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Politics. Support Politics, the first ever conservative pop culture daily show by subscribing to our channel, turning on notifications, and of course, hitting the thumbs up. Also, our main home is on Instagram. Seriously, just trust me, that's where the real magic happens. Follow us there at Politics.